Hi, I'm Crystal Ryerson. I'm the Executive Director um, of Student Success Operations and Compliance. Um, so I bet you're wondering what that means. Um, that means that um, I work with several different areas um, within Student Success Services that um, help students um, apply and get all the way through that onboarding process. So uh, the application, the, the testing, um, and everything in between so that we can get them ready for advising. Hi, I'm Allison Scott, and I'm the Director of Financial Aid at Rowan Cabarrus Community College. In Financial Aid, we offer a variety of federal state grants. Um, we have um, institutional grant opportunities, and what that means, those are college specific, um, so they will be different from college to college. Um, we do offer alternative loans, so as you can see, there are a lot of financial opportunities for you here, um, as well as scholarships through our foundation office. Our financial aid team works with our veteran population as well. So we have two excellent VA certifying officials on our team that help our VA students navigate the process as well. So I'm Ken Engel. I'm the Chief Officer of Information Services uh, for the college, which means I get to lead our IT department as well as our institutional effectiveness area. Um, and I love working at the college because of the mission that we have. You know, we're really working every day to try and help students succeed and, uh, and improve their lives and really make a difference in the world. And to me, that is the best mission that you can have in anything that you do. So it's a, it's a passion and something that I enjoy working with every single day. Hello, everybody. My name is Jay Taylor, and I am the Executive Director of College and Career Readiness at Rowan Cabarrus Community College. Um, I, I uh, absolutely love working at this community college for the fact that uh, having the impact that you get to have each and every day uh, with the students that come on campus um, and helping them become a better version of themselves, uh, whether that's academically, personally, um, in their community. So um, within Student Success Services, um, we have our admissions department, our um, navigators, which I'll explain in just a little bit what those um, what that team is, um, and our testing. And a lot of that, it's it's um, each of those areas helps students kind of get through the um, onboarding process. Um, there's a lot of times students. Um, they don't know what they don't know, um, and so we want to be here to to help guide them through that because we have the answers, um, and a lot of times students just don't know to ask the questions, and so um, instead of waiting on the student to ask the question, we want to just give that information to the student. So um, our admissions and records team really work with our um, in-country and international students um, to make sure that they get through the admissions process and filling out the application and if they need to change their program um, they can work with them on changing their program um, our navigators really help um, kind of answer all of those questions that students have they are our front-facing customer service um, team and they really they, they help you when you walk in the door um, but they're also reaching out to you um, over the phone and right now virtually so that um, they can get you ready for advising, get you registered for classes um, and on your way to meeting your educational goal. Um, if you have questions, that's probably your first place to start um, and they can answer um, just about anything. Um, and if they can't, they know exactly where to where to send you to get that, um, get your question answered. So. Um as I mentioned before, we have a lot of financial opportunities through federal and state grants and college grants and scholarships. Um, the main thing that you will need to do is complete your FAFSA application. Um, you can do that at www.fafsa.gov. Um, it is a free application, so make sure you're on the right website because if you go to FAFSA.com, they will try to charge you a fee for processing. Um, but once you complete your FAFSA application, we actually do all the work to determine what you can qualify for. Um, so that would be your first step and the most important step for that. In college and career readiness, we focus on high school equivalency. That's the HSE or GED. We have the uh, online platform, the adult high school. We have ESL, the English second language. We have the SOAR program, which stands for Skills, Opportunity, Awareness, and Readiness. And those are classes uh, specifically designed for our folks with intellectual disabilities. The IT department here at the college provides all of the technology resources 
for everything that we do on campus. Um, and that's everything from uh, the classroom technology that you experience when you're taking a class on one of our campuses to the network that helps you access to the internet or even our online resources like Blackboard and uh, Zoom and other tools that you may use if you're taking a class from home. Um, so in IT, that's what we work on. On institutional effectiveness, uh, we're looking at data and looking at information to see how we can improve the experience for our students and for our team members here at the college as we work to help every student succeed. So uh, we're looking at information like enrollment and trends in the market uh, around labor opportunities and job opportunities and just any way that we can use data to help us make better decisions. So there are there are definitely differences um, in financial aid compared to a, a two year compared to a four year school, um, but the federal grant is the same. So the Pell Grant is the main grant that we offer. That is going to be the same whether you are at Rowan Cabarrus or UNC Charlotte. Um, now the state grants do differ based on whether you're at a university or a two-year college, um, but I would just say there are opportunity for federal and state grants at both. There are really a lot of advantages whenever you come to Rowan Cabarrus as opposed to necessarily going to a four-year uh, institution first. Uh, one, of course, is the cost of attendance, which is which is wonderful for everybody. But within technology, we really have the ability to customize and, and help tailor a solution to your particular program and your particular needs at the college um, so that you're getting much more personalized attention and assistance. And we will work with you one on one to help you uh, work through any technology challenges that you have. And sometimes when you're at a really big four-year institution, you don't quite get that same level of personal personal assistance and help. And uh, that's really what we're here for, is to, to make sure that your academic journey is as positive and as good as possible when it comes to using technology. I think, you know, Rowan Cabarrus is a wonderful place. Um, if you as a student don't know where to start um, start by reaching out um, to your navigator your advisor how do you do that you log in to navigate um, navigate is kind of that that one-stop place where you can um, get connected with who your navigator is who your advisor is um, and and they'll help walk you through if you're not sure what question to ask that's okay um, the navigators, your advisors, they can help walk you through that. Um, the best and easiest way to get connected with them is through Navigate. Um, and you, you're using your same Rowan Cabarrus login credentials as you do your email and all of your other resources. Um, so get connected with them, um, get to know them because they will be a great resource for you um, as you're here um, at Rowan Cabarrus. My favorite thing about working um, with students at Rowan Cabarrus is, is helping them overcome financial barriers so that, that they can achieve their educational goals. And, and when I'm out in the community talking with students, there's a common misconception that college isn't for those who um, can't afford it. And I love helping students realize that there are so many financial aid options out there that they've never even considered. Um, there are funds available to um, just specifically Rowan Cabarrus students. So there are so many options that, that students may not be aware of. And it's just exciting for me um, when students get excited about something that they never thought would be an option for them. So I, I really enjoy working with the students throughout their entire journey to ensure things go seamlessly. Uh, we give back uh, to the community a lot in adult basic education. Um, none of the classes that the students take over in continuing education uh, the GED classes, SOAR, ESL, cost anything at all. Um, so we let them know that they're basically receiving a hand up. And now that we uh, have done that for them, we like to go out in the community and, and give a hand out, so to speak. So we volunteer with Habitat for Humanity. Um, we went in the spring and we worked on two houses uh, with our GED folks. And that was a tremendous experience for them, not only for the sense of giving back to the community, but also being able to make instruction relevant to their life of, hey, you need floor for this room. How would you figure out how much flooring you need? So it's 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 putting the practicality of lesson into the experience. And in turn, it's blessing the community. Um, with our intellectually disabled population, we go out in the community routinely and give back. Uh, whether it's volunteering, um, helping at Mean Mug Coffee here in Salisbury, 
uh, working at Morgan Ridge Vineyards. The goal is to show the community what we have to offer um, so that if someone does have a, a past or someone feels like they have a label that is uh, being held against them, we can show the community otherwise by it, uh, showing the, the students um, capabilities and abilities rather than focus on uh, shortcomings in the past or uh, a disability that they may have.